Welcome back. It is 920. Some exciting news this morning out of Northwestern School of Medicine, where researchers say sleep could be a key tool for better rehab following a stroke. And the good news doesn't end there. Joining me with details is Dr. Mark Slutsky. He is a neurologist at the Shirley Ryan Ability Lab and professor of neurology at the Feinberg School of Medicine. Good morning to you. Nice to see you again, doctor. Great to see you again, Sylvia. Okay, so let's start with restoring motor movements following a stroke. You did this study and you decided to see how sleep could play a role. So what did you learn? Sure, so when we learn a new movement skill, such as a new dance move, we need to practice it obviously, but sleep is also important in learning this skill. Uh, our results in this, in this study showed that we can enhance new skill learning simply by using sounds played during sleep to prompt the brain to replay memories of practicing that new skill. Okay. In our study, no, oh, go ahead. No, you go ahead, because I, 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 but I wanted you to map out for me how that's gonna work, because I can't imagine it. But you were saying in your study. Yeah. In our study, uh, so the people learned to move a cursor in a simple video game, not with using a joystick, but by contracting individual muscles in the arm. So for example, contracting the bicep, uh, move the cursor up and contracting the tricep, move the cursor to the right. And as you can see in the video here, uh, people learned to move the cursor in multiple directions. And importantly, we paired each of those movements with a, a unique sound, such as a, a chime or a doorbell. And then uh, <clears throat> they took a nap and we played back half of those sounds during deep sleep. When they woke up from the nap, uh, the people were better at the movements whose sounds we played during sleep than at the other types of movements. Um, so we infer that uh, these sounds playing during sleep cause the brain to replay the memories wow. uh, during sleep and actually improve uh, people's skill learning. That is so fascinating. Okay, I'm trying to imagine uh, if, if you're doing this on me and I'm sleeping and I'm hearing those noises in my head as I'm sleeping, how does that not disturb that sleep that I'm getting in order to repair and restore? Yes, great question. Um, so we have to titrate the, the volume level to, so we played it back at a very, very quiet uh, volume, just on the kind of on their edge of hearing so that it didn't disturb sleep. In fact, we found that if you play it too loudly and you interrupt sleep, that could be detrimental to learning. Okay, so what's the next step here? You're, you're finding this could help with uh, stroke rehabilitation but there have to be some other implica uh, implications as a result of what you have learned from this. What do you foresee moving forward with in the future? Sure, so um, so like you said, uh, this could potentially help with stroke, which is actually why we chose this particular task, because we have a similar task that we use in a clinical trial with stroke patients uh, to try to improve their arm movements. Um, um, and so now we're combining this sleep uh, the sounds during sleep paradigm with that to see if it improves. Uh, if it works, we think that uh, it could potentially be applied to other types of rehabilitation as well, um, and also to other learning in other contexts such as uh, sports or music or wow. even dance. If this sounds science fiction, doesn't it? it? But here it is, it's reality, it's working. What about for people who at home who are watching that maybe no stroke patients or have had a stroke? They're seeing you talk to me this morning and they're wondering, could this help them? Who is the perfect patient for this type of technique? Uh, so, yeah, so like I said, we have an ongoing study uh, for uh, the, if you have had a stroke um, and over six months ago and you have impaired arm movement, in other words, you're not able to move your arm very smoothly, um, please contact us. Um, our, uh, uh, you can, you can, email at us at snplab at northwestern.edu. Um, you can uh, call us at the phone number, which I think is below, and um, or you can come go to the Northwestern Medicine Clinical Trials site and search for either my name or uh, search under stroke, um, and, <clears throat> and you should be able to find the study. Dr. Mark Tlutsky, fascinating work, and it just goes and reinforces how important sleep in general really is, isn't it? So forget the three or four hours. We all need some good sleep. It's definitely beneficial. Great to yes. see you. Fun discussion. Thanks for joining me this morning. Thanks so much.